Hi, my name's Jack, and I'm going to be doing the Affinity tutorials for Wildlife Exposed. Now, I thought we'd start at the beginning about how to open a file in Affinity, how to do a minor edit, how to do a watermark, and then how to then save that file. So the first thing we're going to do is drag that file into Affinity. I'm using a RAW file from a Nikon camera. You could, of course, open it, but I find this is easier. And Affinity comes up within a few seconds. It's a very, very quick active piece of software. So if you want to do quick edits on the move, it's great. It's also very good on tablets and phones, but obviously I'm using this on a Mac at the moment. Now, we're not going to be too stringent here. I'm just going to get it trying to look up to standard. So adjusting exposure. And again, if you're used to other editing software, then this will be nothing new with exposure, black point, contrast, Vibrance. We can just do little edits. I'm just trying to give it a bit of punch. Here we go. That, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to develop. So this is the raw developing stage. Now we're into the main bit of it. Straight away. So we're not waiting long. Now, I'm happy with that. One of the things I can now do is add a watermark. So we go down on the left-hand side. You've got all these different bits you've got a razor you've got the burn clone all these tools that we're used to and we're going to go on to that one there we go alt g creates a copy mark and then i'm just going to put my name jack perks now obviously that is a little bit small so i'm going to select it and at the top here i'm going to make it not too big around that size great so to change color, I've got this swash of colors there. Now, obviously, most people are only going to use black or white. In this case, I'm going to choose white. Uh, I think it stands out a little bit better. And I'm also going to lower the opacity just a touch. Um, now, I like to have my watermarks relatively subtle because I don't want... Um, oh, that looks a little bit yellow. We're just going to move that up um, just to make it a little bit whiter. There we go. That's better. Um, and then that's kind of out of the way. People are aware that that's, that's my picture and it's not going to be causing any problems. Now you can see here in layers, um, you can create different layers for editing as well. So I'm happy with that now. So let's save it. So we're going to go to file and there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can save as, and what this will do is save it as a affinity photo file, which is similar to a Photoshop file. So it will save all your layers and all your editing. So if you're planning to have another go at the image or edit layers at a later date, this is a good way to do it. And I created a folder, Affinity Files, and we're going to save that in there. However, if you want to save it for web use, then the best thing to do is, we'll just let that go. There we go. File, Export. I'm going to click on Export. Now it gives you lots of options for different JPEGs. Now we're going to go for a low quality JPEG because I'm going to put this one online. Although 10 seems a bit low to me, so I'm going to just up it to about 25. So it's not too low, so it's still got some um, some detail to it. I'm going to click export. Same folder, affinity files, save. Done, very, very quickly. So happy with that. Now let's say we're all done with Affinity. Now of course you can just click the X at the top or we can go back down, right click, quit. And you'll see here, I've now got the original raw file. I've got the JPEG that I made and I've got the Affinity photo file. And that is a very quick introduction to Affinity. I'm going to be doing more in-depth videos on specific things. If you've got something that you would like to ask me how to edit on Affinity, particularly with wildlife or landscapes in mind, then get in touch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.